Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. The way you learn how to juggle is by practice. The way you do well on any standardized exam is practice as well. What we have here is we have the electronic section of the ASVAB military exam. It's just a practice test. I recommend you have a notebook out and a pencil. Watch the video, hear the question, pause the video, answer the question in your notebook, unpause the video, and then check your answer against mine. The best way to do well on any standardized exam is practice. The more you see, the more you review, the better you're going to do. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. You could get a lot more information from this web page right here. You could either download the app at the Google Store or the Mac Store, or you could go to the web page here, asvab-tutoring.com. A lot more resources here. You could also sign up for one-on-one -on -one tutoring, take more practice tests. All right, problem number one. In this schematic right here, the total resistance is 50 ohms, 200 ohms, 500 ohms, 1,000 ohms. Pause the video, do the best you can using this schematic, and then unpause, watch how I answer the question. Question number one, correct answer A, 50 ohms. In this schematic right here, there are two 100 ohm resistors and they're connected in parallel. The formula for the total resistance is one over the resistance of the total is equal to one over the resistance of the first plus one over the resistance of the second. So that's gonna lead you to one over 100 plus one over 100. You need a common denominator, you have it. You add across the top to get two 100. So the resistance of the total is the reciprocal of that. 100 over two is 50 ohms. Correct answer for number one, A, 50 ohms. Question number two, the name of the device that restricts current flow to a single direction is transistor, resistor, capacitor, diode. Pause the video, answer the question, take some notes down here. Unpause the video and here's the answer right here. Correct answer, D, diode. A diode is a device that restricts current flow to a single direction, allowing it to pass only from the anode to the cathode. This unidirectional behavior makes diodes essential in rectifying circuits and protecting components from reverse voltage. Transistors, resistors, and capacitors do not perform this one-way function. Question number three. What kind of circuit is an example of electrical current flowing from one component to the next? A, open, B, parallel, C, series, D, sequential. Go ahead and answer that question. Correct answer, C, series. A series circuit is an example where electrical current flows from one component to the next in a single path. Each component is connected end to end so the same current passes through all components. Open circuits prevent current flow. Parallel circuits have multiple paths. And sequential is not a standard term for circuits at all. Question number four. A standard multimeter does not measure voltage, frequency, current, resistance. Correct answer B, frequency. A standard multimeter measures voltage, current, and resistance. However, it does not usually measure frequency. Question number five. When the current flow is cut off by a blown fuse, Six.
protect the power. Number seven, a conductor is any material that A, has free electrons, B, has free ions, C, has free protons, D, all of the above. Correct answer, D, all of the above. A conductor is any material that has free electrons, ions, and protons. These are free particles allowing electrical charge to move easily through the material, enabling the flow of electrical current. Question eight, what is an amplifier? A, a device that makes audio signals reach further. B, a device that increases signal strength. C, a device that has extra capacitors to increase amperage. D, a device that increases sound fidelity by decreasing resistance. Correct answer, B, a device that increases signal strength. An amplifier is a device that increases signal strength. It boosts the power of audio, radio, or other signals without significantly altering the original signal's content. The amplifier. Number nine, the best reason for using a filter in a power supply is to convert alternating current to direct current change direct current to alternating current, even out voltage variations, or D, smooth out power surges? Correct answer, C, even out voltage variations. Best reason for using a filter in a power supply is to even out voltage variation. Filters help stabilize the output by removing fluctuations and noise from the power supply. All right, question number 10. If you're still here, well done. Just keep working at it. Uh, the more exposure to these problems, the better you'll get at it. I would recommend that you go on YouTube and search up a lot of these ideas and watch full videos on them uh, so you could understand the content a little bit better. All right, number 10. A current that changes polarity many times per second is called a direct current, B, reciprocating current, C, alternating current, D, AC, DC current. Correct answer, C, alternating current, AC. A current that changes polarity many times per second is called alternating current, um, periodically reversing direction. It looks like a sine wave. Unlike direct current, DC, which flows in one direction. This reversal allows efficient transmission of electricity over long distances. Question number 11. Another name for a transistor is an integrated circuit, a semiconductor, C, a transfer resistor, a Pettigrew connector. Correct answer, B, a semiconductor. Transistors are semiconductor devices used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. They are not integrated circuits, which are complex assemblies of multiple components. Pettigrew connector is not a standard term in electronics. Question 12. A capacitor connected in series obtains a resulting value greater than the sum of the individual capacitor values, equal to the sum of the individual capacitor values, C, less than that of the smallest capacitance, D, produces a neutral charge in capacitance values. Correct answer, C less than that of the smallest capacitance. When capacitors are connected in series, the resulting capacitance is less than that of the smallest individual capacitor. This occurs because the reciprocal of the total capacitance is the sum of the reciprocals of each individual capacitance. Question 
Question 13. A 120 volt circuit has a resistance of 20 ohms. How much current is present in the circuit? 0.5 amps, 3 amps, 6 amps, or 9 amps? Give you an extra couple seconds here uh, with the video pause coming up with this answer. Correct answer, C, 6 amps. To find the current in the circuit, you use Ohm's law, which is I equals V over R. The voltage is 120, and the resistance R is 20 ohms. Therefore, the current I is at 120 divided by 20 to give you 6 amps. So correct answer, C, 6 amps. Question 14. The property of a circuit that opposes the flow of electrons is reactance, capacitance, resistance, inductance. Correct answer, C, resistance. The property of a circuit that opposes the flow of electrons is resistance. Resistance hinders the movement of electrical current through a conductor, converting electrical energy into heat. Reactance, capacitance, and inductance also affect current flow, but in different ways. Question 15. All right, still here, you're doing great. Uh, a few more to go, stay strong. Number 16, which one of the following devices converts light energy and electrical energy? Radio, radar, stereo, speaker, or photoelectric cell? Correct answer D, photoelectric cell. That's kind of the first easy one. A photoelectric cell converts light energy into electrical energy. It works by using the photoelectric effect, where light photons strike a material and cause it to emit electrons, generating an electrical current. Number 17, which of the following best carries electric current? Transformers, conductors, switches, or resistors? Correct answer, B, conductors. Conductors best carry electrical current because they are materials that allow the flow of electric charge with minimal resistance, such as copper or aluminum. Transformer switches and resistors are components that interact with the current in different ways, but do not primarily carry it. Conductors, by definition, means to conduct. Number 18, what metal is most commonly used as a conductor? Aluminum, copper, chromium, or lead? Correct answer, B, copper. Copper is very commonly used metal as a conductor. It has excellent electrical conductivity properties, making it ideal for electrical wiring. Number 19, which of the following is the smallest in size and can amplify electrical signals. Transistor. All right, before we do the last one, if you need a channel, think about subscribing. This is Colfax Math. 
share the video with anybody who might be interested in increasing their score on any standardized exam, but specifically the ASVAB and the electronic portion of the ASVAB. All right, number 20, which of the following cannot be used to store an electrical charge? Fuse, dielectric, capacitor, battery. Which of the following cannot be used? Correct answer, A, fuse. A fuse cannot uh, be used to store an electrical charge. It is designed to protect electrical circuits by melting and breaking the circuit if the current exceeds a certain level. All right, fantastic if you're still here. Again, if you want more resources, this is a great site right here. You go to the Apple Store, the Google Play Store, or you go online to get more practice tests, more information, and even set up some one-on-one -on -one tutoring if you're going to need that. All right, well, thank you for watching. Please comment uh, any ideas at all how I could do these videos better. Let me know. Thank you.